Hi, this is Mark Harrington from MarkHarrington.com. This is a short video on customizing the human theme. Human is a theme developed for WordPress. It's a free theme. There is a pro version, but I only use the free version. I'll start by just looking at the layout of my blog page, and then we'll go into some specific steps on for housekeeping and for choosing the column layouts and for adding ads to the sidebars. So I'll start by looking at my page. It's markacarrington.com. It's a very simple page. This is the home page. It's got my name in it. It's got a tagline. It's got an advertisement in the top here. It's got a set of menus at the top and it also has a set of menus in this gray bar. It is a two column layout, so the content is on the left, the sidebar on the right hand side. And as we scroll down, it shows four blog posts. It features articles which come from a particular category. So these are affiliate marketing articles. So you just, as you just scroll through them, it'll just run through the, the, the top four. It shows four posts on the front page. It's got a series of ads down the right hand side. It has a footer which has got an advertisement in it, and it's got a submenu down below which contain all of my legal pages. And then it has social sharing icons here in the footer and also on the top of this sidebar. So let's dig into the detail um, inside WordPress, but I'm going to start first of all. I did find this article it's called First Steps with the Human WordPress Theme. The link for this will be in the description down below. It's published by Press Customizer, who are the makers of this theme. And the important part here is they talk specifically about install the Human Add-ons free plugin, because that gives a lot of the power comes from the plugin, because they're not allowed to put some of those power things into the theme by WordPress. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's just go to the dashboard. So I have logged in. So let's so do the first thing. Do let's do the. I'll just show you the. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to appearance. Appearances of how you get access to the themes, and you'll see here is the theme human. It's and there is also a what is called a child theme. I have created a child theme, and the reason you do that is is that. If, you, if there are any modifications that are made to the, the main theme, which override things, specific customizations that you've put in your own child theme, your customizations are kept. So I'll show you how to do the, the two steps in plugins to do that. So I'm going to go across to plugins because we want to talk about human add-ons and doing child themes. So here's the list of my plugins. The child theme one I use is called Child Themeify. Uh, that one is no longer um, held in the WordPress repository. So one needs to go and search for that. So we've got to go add new. And then the other one was called human add-ons, human add-ons. So I'll just show you how to do that. So we go to add new and we're going to search. So we'll just H-U-E-M-A-N. <clears throat> and it'll pop up as the first of the add-ons. And then we'll just, it would give mine as installed already. So it would come up and say, it would say install now. Once it's installed, it then will ask you to activate it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a search for, I'm just going to type in child into the box. And then we will pick a, a tool that will allow you to create a child theme. And the criteria that I use for these is it needs to be compatible with your version of WordPress, updated fairly recently, and then I'll have a look at the number of stars. So that one there has got, and there are a large number of installations, so people are happy with this one. So you basically you would just install now, activate, and then work out how it tells you to create a theme. So I'll just show you that in mine. So I'm going to go back across to appearance so I can look at the themes. 
So once you've created a theme, so you'll see here it says child to create a child theme. Just click that. It'll ask you which theme I want to make a child for. And then what you do is, is that you then activate the child. So you can see the name I've given it is human child. So I can differentiate it from that. Activate the child. And whenever you do updates, you only update the parent theme. So you keep that up to date so that you don't run security risk. Now the, the themes are, this is where we do all the customization. This button here called customize or this button here called customize will allow you, allow you to customize the theme. So we'll press that. And the, the first, remember the first thing we wanted to do was get this layout right. Now there are two components for this layout piece right, to get this right. And I will, but I will show you them in a reverse order because it doesn't always, it's not always totally logical about how things go. The, the two column layout is here under this thing called main body design. So I've clicked that and you'll see it says column layout for the main content. And, the, and there's a drop down box. It's the first drop down, which is two columns content left, which is my layout. If you want to put the sidebar on the left, you can do, you can change these up. But this is the one that I've used. So that's what we'll do is we change that and everything else will stay the same. Now, the reason I use human as a theme is this gives enormous power because we can choose. So, for example, for our home page, we can actually choose to have one column and drop the sidebar or we can turn it the other way around. So we can we can have specific layouts for specific pages if we choose to. So I just that's why I've used it is to build it for future flexibility. Now, I did say there were two elements for getting that column layout right. We're going to go down now. now I'm just going back down to web page design. And I'm just going to step through this one here. We'll come across some of the elements. What's quite neat about the theme, so this is dealing with when, you, when you're in one of these editing areas, it shows you what you can edit from here. So we can change the title. You can change the, the tagline. That's the tagline there. The, we'll go to general design options. The other one here, this is the, I said was the two elements that are important for the two column layout is this website max width. He says for use 1380 for two sidebars and 1120 for one sidebar. Given that we have 120, we have one sidebar, we need to choose this max width at 1120. So that's why it is set as 1120. So we're going to go out of that one now, and now we want to talk about social links. So here under this web page design, we have a button called social links. So this allows you to set up your links for any one of your social networks. It's a very simple process. You just add new, choose the icon. So we want to do 500px, for example, which is a photo site. We can then pop it in. So that was just set once, and then we, as it's deployed, we um, we will um, it'll just pick that up automatically. Body background, I do not have one. So so while we're here on header design, you'll notice that I have an advertisement in the header. So we this is display a widget in your header. And display the header widget on the desktop ISIS. So I have selected that. This widget does not pitch up in mobile. So it only now the important part of this is this feature is not available when you have a header image. So if you've chosen to put an image in this space, you cannot put an advertisement in there. So that's why there is no image in this space, is because I want to use that space for the header advertisement. So let's just pop back to the next one down to main body design, sidebars, design, and mobile setup. You'll notice that the primary sidebar title says, follow me. That's
that's this piece here. Secondary sidebar we don't need because we only have one sidebar. And then we need to go and find where do we find how to put the social links in here. Here's a button that says display the social links in the primary sidebar. So that then has put those social links into that primary sidebar, which I labeled follow me. We'll just talk a little bit about footer design. And the what I have here is in so in my footer. I've selected three columns to enable the footer widgets and of which I am currently using two. And I've got some footer text in here and the display the social links in the footer will then show how I managed to get that information in here. So this is the footer. This is an old version of this because I've since updated this to 2021 and we can see the social sharing links are in the footer. Now these stuff is above the footer that is created in the menus. So let's talk about menus. So that covers all of the stuff that we need to know for customizing the theme. I said we'd cover menus. So I've just clicked the menus item here. There, there are two tabs here. You can edit the menu. So here is you select a menu to edit. Which one are you going to edit? And then you create it from here. So you can see here on my, my menu is home, about me, investing blogs, new stuff, contact us is the main menu. And then you manage the locations. The main menu is in the top bar and the in the header is the main menu which is the one right at the top and then the footer has a menu called legal so if i go back to men edit menus you will see that i have a menu called legal we'll select that and we'll see it'll pop up here so it has the home privacy policy cookie policy disclaimer terms of use gdpr requests so that's the story on menus. Let's just talk about putting an advertisement into into the sidebar. So what I've done here is I've clicked on the widgets page, the important part of the widgets page. These are all the available widgets on the left hand side and this is the, the area we're working on is the primary sidebar which is this one on the right hand side. So we're basically, so what I've got here is I've got an image which I've created, which then has a link embedded underneath. I have a, a second set here. This is a form which has come from my autoresponder. This is a search site categories. And these are advertisements. So these are basically embedded HTML available, come available from my advertising partners. And it's a simple process to do that. So if we want to create so I, I will put one in i'll put a new one in here for the iceberg effect so i'm going to pick one of these up here and i'm going to stick it i'm going to stick it right at the top so i'm going to create an image and then we need to add an image so now i have to find an image the important part of the image is it needs to be the right size. So how do I find the image? We go into, I've logged into the Internet Profits site. It's in the, under the section called Resources. And as we scan down here, we want to pick one of these that will fit. Now the sidebar width is 300, so we can pick this 300 by 250. That's the one to use. So I have actually downloaded that one onto a computer, so that's the one we're going to use. So I go back to widgets. I need to upload a file. I've got it over here. You should really put an alt text in here. So I will put iceberg effect as the alt text. Add to the widget and we'll see it's now edit. Now I just need to say, where does it link to?
I have this set up in my URL shortener. I'm going to take it to the int iceberg effect offer page. So that should work if I do a reload. You should now see that image up at the top. So there we have the pages reloaded. We've got the image in here. I can see down in the bottom left hand corner that the, the link is in there. I've opened it in a new page just to test that it's actually working. Always smart to do that. And we could say special offer from Mark Harrington. This is the iceberg effect page. So we know that that is working the way that I intended. Now, of course, I also have one in the footer. So guess how does that work is, is that we have a footer area here. And I can then add in the custom HTML. So you'll see exactly that is get your free book today. This is actually direct link to the um, so I can see that it has got it uploaded the iceberg effect banner. It's a 468 by 60 banner. It's got an alt text of iceberg effect. So I can see that that is so that one I've put as a custom HTML page and one could you either do it as custom HTML or as an image as I have done here. Now what I'm going to do is now that I've done that, I'm going to delete it because I actually what I'll do is I'll delete the one underneath it. So that's all up and running. I hope that helps in getting your page looking the way you want it. I appreciate your time.